right, I am getting ready to do a surf fishing charter with a dad and his little girl. Uh, I got dinner for myself. I just caught this Atlantic sharp nose. I'm trying to bleed him out, but he's turned himself around. He's staring at me. He's still alive, so I'm uh, going to wait a little bit more until he dies to get him into the cooler because I really don't want to get bit. That would be really bad. And I don't want him sitting out when the little girl is here, so. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Hoping to get on a bunch of fish. My people are showing up in about 20 minutes and we're gonna get going. I'll reel it a little bit and then I'll let yeah, you reel. You wanna grab the pole? All right. And dad can help you, because yeah. I know it's... He's got it. Come see on. what we got. Do you feel a fish biting at all? I do. Oh, there we, we got go. A fish. We got a little whiting. All right, that's what we were hoping that for. That is a little combo. whiting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah. He came right off. Get away! Get away! He's slippery, but you can you can just set it right back in there. Here, let me take it for you. I'll take that. It's called a whiting. Back on. Oh no! Oh man, he was, I should have said, let's get him over. We'll rinse him off a different way. <laughs> Try to make sure you keep tension on the line. Oh, looks like it oh. popped off, popped off. All right, I'll, I'll cast that back out. You wanna try casting? It's right out in the middle there. All right, perfect. And then we'll loosen the drag so it it doesn't uh, come out of place when we get it in the sand spike. And then I just tighten the drag enough to where uh, if something grabs it, it's not going to take off like crazy. Oh, some feels like it's hitting right now. It may be. Yeah. Bluefish have really been uh, hitting big. Oh yeah, something's already. <laughs> I can say as soon as I as soon as it landed, I felt something. Let's see, let me see if, if I feel it on there, and if I do, then I'll hand it to you. Feels like, I think it popped off, yeah. Yeah. It could be, yeah. Oh no! No, you were right! It's a bluefish. There's a, and that one's a little too small. We're not allowed to keep them unless they're 12 inches to the fork on bluefish. So. You want to take them off for All right. And that was pretty much, there's no bait left on the hook. Can't keep that one, but yeah. Can I get a picture? Yeah. In summer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get a picture of that, but that's on video. All right, we're going to cut up some more mullet. That's what they want. Yep. And we want to catch a fish, be quiet. Yeah, well here, the good thing about the beach is you don't really have to be quiet. You see how noisy the ocean is? So the fish can't hear us talking. That's why I like the beach. I can talk as much as I want. <laughs> and go ahead and reel it till it's like you feel there's like tension, but not to where it's gonna pull the, uh, the thing off of there. And that way you're gonna see it when something uh, pops on there. Getting lots of hits all of a sudden. Got a school coming through. I'm gonna take this purple rig and put it on the small pole for summer. All right, that one started jumping. We got everything set and moved back. Hey, yeah, we got something. Look at that, another blue fish. That one's bigger, yep, another blue fish. That might be, here, let's bring it over closer to the cart. I've got a, I can measure it on the cart and we'll see what it is lengthwise. And I can take the pole for you. If you want to go on the other side of the cart, there, I got the measurement over there. You can grab a fish, keep those hooks away from you. It's got to be to the fork and the tail. So why don't you go ahead and take them off the hook? It'll be easier to measure them that way. And 
and you can flip him around, put his head where the zero is, his mouth. And then he's got to be 12 inches to the fork. I think that's around 10. Not quite, looks like. All right, he's got to go back. You want a picture? We're really getting Yeah, let's get a picture. It's a little bigger one. Summer. In summer. So what is this, another bluefish? Or yeah, another? that's, no, nope, that's a bluefish. There's a few little ones down here, oh, so there you go. yeah, they're very beautiful fish. He's right. too yeah, he's ready. Yeah, he's too small. They've got to be uh, what is it, 11 inches to the fork okay. in the tail to keep them. So we'll let him go. He's definitely too small. Nice little pompano. I'm guessing about seven inches. One of our little residential pompano. He's going back. We got another baby pom. Just reeled it in. Nice, yeah, they, they swim in schools, so, and they like this purple color. <laughs> they like the shrimp, they like the purple. Look at that guy. Oh, okay. wow. He's so cute. A small one. Awesome. Yeah, All right, yeah, he's got to go back, though. So. Okay, I've got the Akuma Rockaway Fitz Fish Bites signature rod here. I've got a Frisky Fins rig on it with some sand fleas. They are frozen sand fleas that I got from the bait shop. I did not find these on the beach. I'm going to tip these with fish bites. One of the purple clam. And one sand flea, since we got a sand flea on here. Let's see what happens with this. Now we're just waiting, watching the lines. Uh, there was dolphins out here, so I think they might have scared away the fish for a bit. They'll be back. And I'm taking this opportunity to remind myself to eat and drink <laughs> because I will not have eaten anything since breakfast until like after five. This rod started going crazy and we just put a feather in it. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on. We got another little pompano. Yeah. Cute little guy. Wow, another fish. Sweet. Somewhere. I don't think so. This little. Huh? Yeah, we got a. We didn't even. We got to set him back. And it is the purple frisky fins rig with the purple fish bites. Get some more shrimp. And we're ready to go. All right, we still got the feather on. set out right in the middle of the trough fellow youtubers slash followers subscribers of my channel who came out and introduced themselves to me yeah i'll try to put a link in his to his channel and in the meantime we have another baby pompano come in we got something here there we go no this is my fish dude Get away from my fish. <laughs> no, it's, oh, they're all undersized. Was he about 11? Yep. Yeah, let's get some pictures. I don't know what it is, but I didn't even think anything was on here. But there's something. Oh no, it's a piece of trash. <laughs> Stick fish. Hey, here's, yeah, I'll grab you. Never asked for any big one. Oh, I'm the same way, but yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm not going to use all these anyway. He was anyways, looking for so. yesterday. Yeah, just yeah, I couldn't find cut it. them into chunks or however yeah, much. Yeah, I just cut them in little, maybe about one and a half inch pieces. 
Okay, thank yeah. you very much. What's your real name? Kathy. Kathy, there yeah. you go. She just taught me a little trick though. Yeah. You just pull the line down. Yeah, there. hold it here and then pull it down. This is, serves two purposes. So number one, you're gonna feel tugging if there's a fish on the line. Number two, if there's fish around, when you let it go, they'll see the movement. Sometimes it's good to just move it around. You know, if there's fish in the area, they're gonna be like, hey, let me yeah. try that. Like, oh, look at that. I just, I'm still recording. <laughs> so, okay, my lesson. There you go, your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we lost it. I think I, I left some tension. I, I lost the tension on the line. Right, I'm slowly packing things up. We have had a really fun time, so. Got a bunch of fish today. Well, I couldn't have asked for a better way to start the new year than to have such an awesome charter today, catching all those sharks, catching the bluefish, pompano, just all the little uh, things that we caught and watching the little girl's face light up and have so much fun and she was collecting shells and everything so it was such a blast and uh, if you're interested if you're coming down to the Flagler Beach area and you're interested in having a charter with me you can go to my website uh, fishing-girl.com and check out the charters tab on the page and I'll give all the information that you need if there's anything that I don't cover there I've got all these frequently asked questions but you can feel free to leave a comment below please subscribe share it with your friends and as always tight lines God bless and we'll see you